हसरत है हमारी बाबा पर दो वो पूरी आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके अच्छा झोली मनाई मनाते Oh, <laughs> 
Om Shanti. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars to accept and give regard. In order to perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars, accept the things of one another and give regard. If you learn how to accept and how to give regard, then both perfection and success will come close. When you are able to make many others into those with sanskars of perfection, completion will come close. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Welcome to Vikti Parivar. Today's day 11. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars. Today's topic, to accept and give regard. Now, we will listen to Mohini Didi. Om Shanti. In harmonizing sanskars or doing the dance of harmonizing sanskars really begins with love and acceptance. And there has to be whatever the souls are. Even we don't like their sanskars or their behavior or the way they converse. But still, as a soul, we want that soul to transform or to adopt good sanskars. One of the cooperation we can give to the souls for their transformation is acceptance. Acceptance is able to melt the hearts, it can transform the souls. Especially when we say, yes, it's okay. Accept what their ideas are and what they are. Because if we constantly keep looking at the weakness or the defects of the soul, 
we won't be able to give love. Many times I am introduced to different souls by saying this one is not, uh, behavior is not good, is in conflict, always in conflict with others, even fight with others. So they keep saying it. And when I keep looking at that soul, I find that there is something lacking in not what she is, but which she hasn't re received. Maybe she never got the love she wanted. So they become aggressive because they demand love. They want to be loved. So even if then it's not fulfilled, then definitely they become sometimes very uh, violent. So acceptance is a quality which can give a lot of, lot of support and self-respect. So what we have to do, not only accept, but also respect, give regard. Sometimes respect looks like something very simple and ordinary. But with the human life or any life, respect definitely has to be there. Every, every uh, human being or anyone in the world live by respect. And I think it's a life, right? And life means we have to respect anyone, even a little, little uh, creatures. When they look at you, they, they like that if you can accept them. But if we reject, I know they say that even in jungle, very wild animals, when deeply they know that they can be destroyed, they can be killed, then they become very revengeful. But if you have a lot of love and you meet them with love, and don't harm them, not even have the thoughts of harming them. Accepting, yes, whatever their nature is, you accept it. And don't try to destroy it. Whether it is a very little uh, mouse or anything, or a big tiger. Both have their own life. And because they have their life, then their survival. Both ways, whether it's recognition of what they are, and then regard them. So I think that this internal energy, the power, of love and acceptance can help the creation to have respect. And when you respect them, first is they won't harm you. They won't hurt you. But if you reject them, of course, it's the right information about animals or anything which hurts you. If you have right introduction, and again, as I said, you accept them and respect them. It's very, very interesting. Something to experiment. I like it very much. And it's easy. Because when you 
think that way, then you are able to uh, give acceptance, give regard. So by, by saying to accept and to give regard, in order to perform the dance of harmonizing sanskar, accept the things of one another and give regard. If you learn how to accept and how to give regard, then both perfection and success will come close to you. Baba says when you are able to make many others into those with sanskars of perfection, completion, will always come close. So one is I become perfect. Other is all those who are around me need to be perfect. If we want world of perfection, then everyone needs to be in the stage of perfection. And what I can contribute is acceptance. And from there, the respect. Very, very interesting point. Something which I need to churn, reflect. Not only that, but uh, practice it, use it. And then you will find that it's not only acceptance, but also you are making others also perfect and complete, right? So we will do this homework together. Om Shanti. Om Shanti Didi, good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Do you have any news for us? <laughs> yes, we had meeting and I could see the expansion of service, so many, they have 20 wings, you know. That means people fly with two wings, right? <laughs> in, the, in the flight, and they have 20. And interesting, everyone is not only creative, but they really did very well. So just imagine that everyone around you, whether it's doctor or engineer or scientist or is able to learn Raj Yoga mm. and they are Raj Yogis. Makes a lot of difference, right? Yes. So it, it's very good, yeah. Yes. Um, how is the Bog message this morning, uh, yesterday morning for you? Mm -hmm. I, like the, I like the practice Baba gave that when you wake up, be in the incorporeal stage and take from incorporeal Baba, but then become deity form. And from that deity image, you will be able to give divinity and being bestower will give to many souls, whether they are devotees or... It was very interesting. And this morning I was practicing. Mm -hmm. One thing is that you yourself, you are able to instill in you the deity sanskars. But also it's not you instill, then you bestow also, give okay. others. And I think that uh, that will bring change in them their attainment will give them many, many good experiences also. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was good. You heard, right? Little bit, not too much. <laughs> so. mm. You couldn't hear. I didn't. Um, I heard I was a um, little bit of a rush today. So I just heard the part about incorporeal and that. And I, you can, you can, I will, I will go back and listen. Mm. Um, um, yesterday's uh, object signal, Baba was talking about um, how we have to imbibe his uh, 
qualities, his virtues, his nature. What of Baba's nature do you feel you need need mm. to uh, be in an emerged form for you nowadays? Yeah, I definitely, you know, I think all of us, every moment, do feel God's qualities, right? That if someone did something or even I did it, and how Baba will love, will forgive, or give me expression of some other virtue. So it's like how he, what he is and what he is able to give. Both things are experienced. And when we experience it, then we know I should also be like that. You know? mm -hmm. That's what Baba said, godly nature. Godly, godly nature. nature. Yeah. There's no one particular quality or virtue you're thinking about for Baba. It's just overall nature. Definitely the first quality experiences love and never make us feel we can't do it, we are not worthy. Baba always looks at us with a lot of love and respect. And I think that helps us to have our own self-respect and also encourage us to have more courage, more enthusiasm. Right, so mm -hmm. lot, you know, I think all of us like very common one will be truth or peace. So whenever we look at Baba, we feel so peaceful or powerful, right? right. So these are his qualities and we need to adopt those qualities. Right, right. Um, I have a question from uh, are today's uh, Sakar Murli Didi. Baba was saying that the tree is never dry. So, um, so the soul world is never empty, right? It's all, uh, there will always be few souls in the soul world. Yeah, yeah. it's never And there empty. will always be souls in bodies in the, even at the end, there will be few souls in bodies in on earth. Yeah, because it's eternal drama. Right. So if, if all the souls are gone, drama will end, right? Right. And she, yeah. So I think it, uh, it is there continuously. Someone or some souls in the body here and some in the incorporeal. Like now, there will be in the incorporeal world, but number is less, right? So it is both ways. Right. So um, when do, when all souls come, mm. uh, will, will a few souls go back? How does it work? Especially in the incorporeal world, I'm curious. When they, when all souls come down, they, because every soul will take at least one birth, right? Except mm. Shiv Baba and Shankar. And so um, when they come down, so souls from here will start going back, back up. Is that what will happen? I think that some return and then some are coming, some are going. In the end, you know, it will be very, very clear that population will keep reducing. And now it's coming. They are still coming. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question about Dharna Didi because you were talking about not even to harm a mouse. It's very inspiring to think that, not even to harm a mouse, right? And, um, but if you are seeing interaction between another instrument and another um, student of the instrument, and that instrument is not being very nice to the student, what is our responsibility? Do we say anything? Do we... They're not being respectful. Um, they're getting very angry. What should we say something or no? Because I think that, um, you know, anyone who doesn't do right, somewhere do feel because it may not be personally, but in the atmosphere, in relationship, few people will be talking about it. Even if I say I don't care, 
but definitely it affects. So when they see that and uh, hear very politely, gently, you have to uh, mention to soul about the sanskar. There are some people they can cause a lot of conflict, right? And I always say they create wars, war zone, right? It's like battle is going on and they don't know how to respect. I think there is a lot of either insecurity or could be control. I don't know. Because for me, I feel they are family and they are our brothers, sisters. So there should be a lot of honesty, you know, mm -hmm. in the sense of if I love you, I love you. That's honest. It's not I show you externally that I love you, but internally I don't want to be in, in your circle or whatever. Right, right. So we should talk to them. Mm -hmm. They might accept or not, but right. it's our duty to explain. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> One last question, Didi. I had this question from yesterday, actually. Um, Baba was talking about, I think it was yesterday's blessing. Baba was talking about, you, sh you should get rid of this, uh, the word I. And people literally take it literally and they never use the word I. You know, they it's not like they're consciously saying this that they're not doing it, but they just never use the word I. And when you're talking to um regular people, and if you're never using the word I, it looks so odd. What are your thoughts on this? <laughs> I think it's two things. No one is talking to worldly people, and one other is talking to divine family. The divine family can understand. When you say, I the soul, or this soul, or that soul, you don't mention name or anything. It's a little bit confusing. So I feel that they should uh, properly use the language which could be understood. And it's, it's no wrong, nothing wrong to talk about uh, or using the word I, you know. Mm -hmm. Because... How will they relate to? Right. Right. Yeah. All right, Didi. We are looking forward to you coming back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are also looking forward. We always have to look forward, right? Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is. If we do not look forward, we look backward, we will fall down, right? Our Absolutely. state will not be good. So we are also looking for Okay. Okay. Om Shanti.
शांति ओम शांति संगम युग का वर्षा यही है शिव से मिलन मनाना समय श्वास संकल्प सभी सेवा में लगाना पवित्रता बरसाए जग में पवित्रता बरसाए जग में फर्शता झलक तुम्हारी फर्शता झलक तुम्हारी शिव पिता ने दी है तुमको शिव पिता ने दी है तुमको श्रीमत कितनी प्यारी श्रीमत कितनी प्यारी मीठे बच्चों प्यारे तो ये बात मम्मा की जब से मैंने सीखी तब से मैं भी कोशिश करता हूँ मैं सफल तो हंड्रेड परसेंट नहीं होता हूँ तो जहां तक हो सके अपने आप को कोई भी ऐसी समस्या आती है तो एक सेकंड में सेट करने का कि पांच हजार वर्ष पहले भी ये आई थी आज भी आ रही है और अगले पांच हजार वर्ष के बाद भी दोबारा आएंगे इस प्रकार से जिसको कहते हैं ड्रामा की ढाल कहो पांच वर्ष की ढाल के द्वारा प्रयत्न करता हूँ तो काफी मदद मिलती है तो ये भी बाबा मम्मा से हमको एक सीखने को मिला दूसरी बात मैंने मम्मा को एक बार पूछा कि मम्मा आपके पास जो भी आते हैं दिल की बातें करने के लिए आते हैं और जहां तक मैं समझता हूं मैं भी थोड़ा इन बातों का अनुभवी हूं जो भी आएगा और वो की कोई ना कोई जो कमी जो देखी हुई होंगी उसी का ही वर्णन करने के लिए आपके पास आएगा किसी की अच्छी बात सुनाने के लिए तो कोई आपके पास नहीं आएगा मम्मा ने कहा ये आपकी बात सही है 99 परसेंट जो भी आते हैं वो और भाई इसने ऐसा किया फिर इसने ऐसा किया फिर ऐसे कहा ऐसी जिसको हमारे दैवी परिवार की भाषा में कहे कहानियां सुनाने के लिए बहुत आते हैं तो हमने कहा कि मम्मा इसका आपके वो प्रभाव नहीं पड़ता है हमारा ऊपर तो प्रभाव पड़ जाता है कि फलाना ऐसा है ऐसा बोला तो फिर हम उसको उसी दृष्टिकोण से ही देखते हैं भले हालांकि ऐसा हमारे साथ तो उन्होंने ऐसा व्यवहार नहीं किया हुआ होता है परंतु तो फिर भी उसके बारे में एक ने बोला तो उसके आधार पर हमारी आंखों के सामने एक आ, पीला चश्मा जिसको कहते हैं जॉन्डिस में होता है ना इस प्रकार से वो पीलिया हो जाता है और हम फिर उसी को उसी दृष्टिकोण से देखते हैं आप क्या करते हैं मम्मा ने कहा कि नहीं हम तो देखते हैं कि हर एक पुरुषार्थी है हर एक पुरुषार्थ के द्वारा आगे बढ़ने की कोशिश कर रहा है और पुरुषार्थ के अंदर कई आगे बढ़ते हैं कई जो है ये भी हम बाबा मा, मम्मा जानते हैं कि स्कूल है परीक्षाएं हैं परीक्षा के अंदर सबका पहला नंबर तो नहीं आता है किसी का पहला नंबर तो किसी का लास्ट नंबर किसी का फेल हो जाने का किसी का प्रमोशन ऐसे मिलता ही है तो इसी हिसाब से हर एक अपना अपना पुरुषार्थ करते हैं और हमें इस बात का भी निश्चय है कि बाबा की राजधानी स्थापन हो रही है और राजधानी के अंदर के हर एक जो भी प्यादा महारथी आदि जो भी है वो सभी यहाँ से ही बनने वाले हैं और उसी के आधार पर हर एक अपने संस्कार के आधार पर अपना कारोबार करते हैं इसलिए हम किसी की भी ग्लानी कितनी भी ग्लानी सुने कितनी भी भूले देखे सुने करें परंतु अपने मन को और अपनी बुद्धि को उस व्यक्ति के प्रति हमारे दिल में हम कभी भी नेगेटिव बात निर्माण नहीं करते हैं और नेगेटिव भाव नहीं होता है पॉजिटिव भाव से ही उनके साथ व्यवहार करते हैं और सामने वाले को जो दूसरा भी जो भाई जिसके बारे में सुना होगा सुनाया होगा या बहन के बारे में सुनाया होगा उनके साथ हम व्यवहार करते हैं तो उनको ऐसा भी नहीं लगेगा कि मम्मा के पास हमारे विरुद्ध में कोई बातें आई हुई हम इतना प्यार से क्योंकि हम नहीं प्यार देंगे तो
तो और कौन देगा हर एक को अपने अपना पुरुषार्थ है हर एक को अपने अपने पुरुषार्थ के द्वारा आगे बढ़ने की दिल है तो इसलिए हम तो हर एक को उनका पुरुषार्थ आगे बढ़े पुरुषार्थ में तीव्रता आए उसके लिए ही कोशिश करते हैं फिर 62 की बात है हम जब यहाँ आए थे कार में सारा चक्कर लगाया था मैं था उषा थी दादी पुष्प शांता थी शांता माता थी हमारी बड़ी छोटी बहने सब थे तो जब यहाँ आए बाबा से मिले तो बाबा ने कहा कि बच्चे तेरे मन में कोई प्रश्न होगा मैंने कहा अभी तो कोई प्रश्न नहीं है परंतु तो कई बातों की ड्रामा के अंदर कई बातों की बातें समझ में नहीं आती है तो ऐसी बातें थोड़ी समझने की इच्छा है बाकी कोई प्रश्न माना शंका के रूप में नहीं है परंतु विस्तार में जानकारी के लिए इच्छा है तो बाबा ने कहा मम्मा को बुलाया क्योंकि ये रमेश बच्चा जो आया हुआ है उसके साथ दो तीन घंटा दो तीन दिन जो है शाम को आप बैठो और उनके पास जो भी प्रश्न है वो प्रश्न का उनको मार्गदर्शन दीजिए तो दूसरे दिन से ही शुरू हुआ हमने कई बातें छोटी बड़ी बातें पुरुषार्थ की शास्त्रों की इन सब बातें कही दूसरे दिन भी बातें पहले दिन में तो काफी बातें पूरी हो गई दूसरे दिन हमने मम्मा से सवाल पूछा कि मम्मा एक बात अभी तक हमारी बुद्धि में नहीं बैठती है अब तक हमको यही कहा गया है कि जब ब्रह्मणी जो है भंडा भोग लेकर के जो बहन संदेशी बहन जो है वो जाती है बाबा के पास सूक्ष्म वतन में तब हमको ये कहा गया है कि ये शरीर छोड़ करके बाबा के पास जाती है मैंने कहा कि मम्मा ये बात मेरी बुद्धि में नहीं बैठती है कि एक बार अगर आत्मा ये शरीर छोड़ दे चाहे परम धाम जाने के लिए चाहे सूक्ष्म वतन में जाने के लिए चाहे इधर उधर किधर भी जाने के लिए एक बार शरीर छोड़ दे तो उसके बाद तो ये हृदय बंद हो जाएंगे उसके बाद अंदर फिर से दोबारा वो आत्मा कैसे आ सकती है ये बात मेरी समझ में नहीं आती है तो ये बात मम्मा की मुझे मम्मा ने जो जवाब दिया ना पहला जवाब दिया ना ये मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा मम्मा ने कहा ये बात बाबा ने आज तक तो यही बताई है इनसे ज्यादा मैं मुझे भी मालूम नहीं है ये प्रश्न आज रात्रि के क्लास में आप बाबा से पूछना Shanti Avakti Parivar. So tomorrow is Friday, and our schedule from Mamatuila, three thirty a.m. to four forty-five a.m. in the evening. Avakti children only class from five to five fifteen p.m. But he will start at six p.m. followed by Hindi series, English series, and Avakti journey. Welcome to Avakti Journey. Avik Murli is from 1969. Multi-million fold fortune and blessings. Abhyakt Murli, twenty third of January, nineteen seventy three. Four pillars to become complete. According to the drama, you have been given this short time to make an effort. 
However, before the final paper is given, you have to make yourself complete and perfect. Did you check your result? As in this month, there has been a great deal of zeal and enthusiasm in all four directions for staying on the pilgrimage of remembrance. What do you think the result of it is? How many marks would you give? Of course, each one's marks are individual, but in regard to the atmosphere of all four directions as a result of the zeal and enthusiasm of the effort, how many marks would you give? Baba is asking you totally as a whole. Of course, the influence of everyone's effort reaches Madhuban. Are you not Trikaldarshi? Are you not Trikaldarshi of the effort of the souls who are close to you within your own family? Are you only Trikaldarshi of the future, not of the present? Through the vibrations and the atmosphere, are you not able to discern? Since scientists are able to know the overall speed and method of those who go into space while they themselves are on the ground, can you not know the method and speed of your elevated effort through the power of your yoga? Will you know it at the end? when there is no need for it. You should have the practice of knowing this from now. You need catching power. Just as science is able to catch a sound from a distance and also make it reach a far distance, can you also not catch the pure vibrations, the pure thoughts and the pure atmosphere? You should experience this catching power in a practical, visible way. Nowadays, scenes far away are seen very clearly on television. So too, by having a divine intellect, by stabilizing yourself in one pure thought of remembrance, all of you should be able to see just as clearly one another stage and speed and method of effort. Where has science emerged from? Science has emerged from the power of silence. Science has emerged just as a means to be able to explain your true stage, your perfect and complete stage. Because in order to understand subtle energy, those with a Tamaguni intellect need a physical means to be continued. Om Shanti. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars. To accept and give regard. In order to perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars accept the things of one another and give regard if you learn how to accept and how to give regard then both perfection and success will come close.
when you are able to make many others into those with sanskars of perfection, completion will come close. संस्कार मिलन की रास करो स्वीकार करना और सत्कार देना संस्कार मिलन की रास करने के लिए एक दो की बातों को स्वीकार करो और सत्कार दो अगर स्वीकार करना और सत्कार देना यह दोनों ही बातें आ जाए तो संपूर्णता और सफलता दोनों ही समीप आ जाएंगी जब एक अनेकों को संपूर्ण संस्कार वाला बना लेंगे तब समाप्ति होगी शांति Recording stopped. Om Shanti. Didi. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thanks, Baba. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, Baba. Love you. Bye, Baba. Om Shanti. 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 Om